You know what I was thinking about today? I was thinking about those street gangs they have down in Los Angeles, those Crips and those Bloods. I was thinking about that bunch of new laws that came up in the 1980s, I think it was, to combat those street gangs, those Crips and those Bloods. And if I remember rightly, the gist of what these new laws said was, if you join one of these gangs and you're running with them, and down the block one night, unbeknownst to you, one of your fellow Crips, your fellow Bloods, shoots up a place or stabs a guy, well then, even though you may not know anything about it, or even though you may have been just standing on the street corner, minding your own business. What these new laws said was, you're still culpable. You're still culpable by the very act of having joined those Crips and those Bloods in the first place. Which got me thinking, Father. That whole type of situation is kind of like your church boys, ain't it? You got your colours, you got your clubhouse, you are, for want of a better word, a gang. And if you're upstairs smoking your pipe and reading your Bible, while one of your fellow gang members is downstairs fucking an altar boy, well, Father, just like those Crips and just like those Bloods, you're culpable. Because you joined the gang, man. And I don't care if you never did shit, or you never saw shit, or you never heard shit. You join the gang, you're culpable. <clears throat> I want a person who's culpable to alter boy fucking, or any type of boy fucking, because I know you guys didn't narrow that down. You kind of forfeit the right to come into my house and say anything about me, or my life, or my daughter, or my billboards. So why don't you finish up your cup of tea there, Father? And get the fuck out of my kitchen. <laughs>